In the last 30 days, Valve has started trying to fight against the hacker bots. They released even three updates to fix the annoying bots. Wait, are they free? Uh, no. But please, this is not the main hacking problem. In this video, I want to talk about the biggest hacking problem that's getting bigger every day. Hacking is the biggest Team Fortress 2 problem nowadays. Many bots with aimbot, players with the silent aimbot, that's where they shoot in one direction but they're actually shooting in the other direction, wall hack, and many more. Many reddit posts, hundreds of steam forum posts about the cheaters for years. Yes, we all thank you Valve for at least starting to fight against the hackers, but this is not enough. And the annoying hacking bots with voice chat and chat, it's not the main problem. There is even a mute button on the main TF2 menu that can fully mute them in just a single click. The main hacking problem is real players using illegal software to crush the competition, without any fear of getting banned. They cheat for years. They get high casual tears and hundreds of cheating play hours. Some of them just fully lose their fear to get banned. So they're even starting to buy unusual hats. Yes, I repeat, unusual hats and Australian weapons on accounts that they're cheating on because it's not like they're going to get banned. And plus, wearing the unusuals makes them look more convincing that they're a veteran player. And then again, 90% of players are going to say, Yay, he has an unusual. Why should he risk his unusual by hacking? He's legit and not cheating. You're just bad. Yes, you fix the racist bots by stopping their ability to type in chat, I thank you. But there's still a lot of racist real players with hacking software, and they can type and talk anything because they're not free to play. Of course, there is the vote kick option in casual, you may say. Yes, there is. But the second problem is many players do not even know that their teammate is using hacking software. Because I mean, if you're on the enemy team and you get shot by the sniper who's just hitting you constantly or hitting you while you're invisible, then you start to get a suspicion. But if you're on a team, you're going about your own business, you're on the other side of the map, you're helping somebody else. Unless you see it happening a lot, or you see people complaining, or it just happens in front of you, you're not going to get any suspicion about it. 90% of players think that a cheater is a guy that spins like this and kills the whole team only as a sniper. But TF2 hackers today may use aimbot for any class. Even projectile aimbot on soldier. They may use auto backstab. And 90% of these players will go, he's not cheating, when an experienced player is going to ask them to kick the cheater. Many regular players even believe that if they use hacks and they don't get back banned, then they're legit. What a joke. Fact doesn't even exist. Basically. Or there's even a hacker party and they're cheating in four to six players that prevent the other players from kicking them because the only system we have because having backbone <laughs> imagine having backbone the only system we have of voting and if they have a bunch of people all cheating they can just vote down the vote <laughs> what are we meant to do and now i will say no i will talk loudly valve do something with the aimbotters already they're playing safe they're carrying unusuals and expensive items while using the hacks, and VAC doesn't ban them. In every casual game, we have at least one hacker. Valve, we need a VAC update. We need a new VAC ban wave right now. I'm pretty sure that you, Valve, know about this problem for years. If you don't, well, we're fucked. But why do you not do anything against it then? That's a big question we never got an answer from. So, at least do something. We're all asking for that. Thank you.